Ambassadors program will bring together youth from the Republic of China on Taiwan and St. Lucia. Hello and welcome to the program. My name is Virgil Leonti. The Youth Ambassadors program will see some 40 students from the Republic of China and Taiwan engaging in cross-cultural activities here in St. Lucia. Here in the studio with me to discuss the Youth Ambassadors program is the Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency, Mr. Peter Chen. Hello and welcome, Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So can you give us an overview mm. of the Youth Ambassadors Program? When did it start? Yes. Um, the Youth Ambassador Program, the full name of it is the International Youth Ambassador Exchange Program. And it was launched in 2009 uh, by uh, Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan. And uh, the first group to uh, San Lucia is 2010. And uh, for that uh, program, we send university students we call youth ambassador to our diplomatic allies and some uh, other country to uh, showcase the existed uh, good friendship and also try to enhance mutual understanding. And uh, since 2010, we sent the first group to St. Lucia uh, till uh, 2015. So uh, this year uh, is the first group that uh, we uh, sent to St. Lucia post-COVID. Uh, yeah, so we're really looking forward to uh, this uh, engagement and this uh, exchange. And uh, the theme of this year is youth uh, use innovation, Taiwan, St. Lucia, take action. So we're really looking forward for the youth uh, exchange. Wonderful. Uh, so what motivated, what brought about this idea? How did your government, um, what motivated your government to come up with such an idea for a youth uh, cultural exchange program? Yes, I think uh, the main purpose is uh, just, as I say, to showcase the a good relationship that already existed and try to enhance the mutual understanding. However, I think everybody know youth is our future. So um, uh, our government really pay attention of the development of youth. So uh, that's why we create this uh, youth, uh, youth ambassador program, trying to, uh, for one hand, to uh, showcase the good relationship and the other hand, to help expand the uh, horizon of uh, Taiwanese youth. And I think uh, for that uh, point of view, Taiwan and St. Lucia share the same value. Uh, so that's why I think that's why uh, Honorable Prime Minister Philippe Jepier uh, launched the youth economy uh, uh, policy. And uh, when the youth ambassador visits St. Lucia, we work with the uh, youth economy agency, uh, we will organize a youth forum for the youth uh, between Taiwan and San Lucia can exchange their point of view. Wonderful. So what ex specific engagements will the youth from Taiwan be participating in here? And how do you think it could um, improve the bilateral relations between the Republic of China and Taiwan and St. Lucia? Uh, for this uh, time, uh, we work with uh, Ministry of Education and uh, Ministry of uh, External Affairs, Ministry of uh, Commerce, Ministry of uh, Culture, and arrange several different kinds of programs, including uh, exchange uh, with uh, students in South St. Louis Community College. Uh, we will launch uh, uh, cultural experience camps in two secondary schools and two, um, two primary schools. And also, uh, we will have some uh, exchange and all some interaction with uh, youth uh, 
uh, parliament, uh, members of parliament. And so uh, there's a diverse uh, arrangement for different kinds of interaction. And also uh, through the support from uh, Ministry of Tourism and Tourism Authority, we'll be able to uh, uh, like all these students to visit some of the uh, beautiful scenery in St. Lucia. Uh, in, and I, for example, like Piton, or uh, Volcano, or some uh, other beautiful beach. Yeah, so through all those uh, exchanges, I'm hoping that uh, our youth ambassador can uh, get to know more about the culture, about the way of life in St. Lucia. For example, like, uh, you have a, a rich culture from uh, jazz, from carnival, from emancipation, love wars, uh, Lama Grey, uh, Creole. So all those uh, cultural essence are, uh, some of them are quite different from Taiwan, but actually there's some similarity. So I, uh, I would like our students to get to know uh, the similarity because the, the similarity is actually something that can uh, uh, bring two countries closer. And, but the, the different parts actually can amplify uh, both of us. So I think uh, that will help them to know more about each other. And of course, the, the student that engage with uh, the uh, youth ambassador will also learn a lot from, uh, about Taiwan. And I think the uh, social media and all those uh, devices actually help uh, not only the people who really do the uh, exchange uh, get to know each other, but the people go through all those uh, media coverage, they will also uh, know about Taiwan and the uh, Taiwanese people through the videos, through the words, through the photos that youth ambassador uh, post on their social media they will be able to know more about San Lucia. And I hope in the future, there will be more engagement in the future. And, and for that, I think will have a big impact and, and uh, broad and deeper impact in uh, the uh, good relationship in the future of uh, both our country. You spoke, Ambassador, about, um, you mentioned some of our cultural activities like La Rose, Carnival, Etc. Etc. Uh, what are some of the cultural activities or cultural events would the youth from the Republic of China and Taiwan be presenting or engaging with or showcasing to other St. Lucian youth? I, uh, from Taiwan, uh, because uh, there are, uh, for this group, there are uh, forty students uh, specialized in different. Uh, Aspects, uh, for example, like Diabolo is a it's kind of a very popular children uh, folk uh, folk game and uh, traditional opera, uh, Oriental instrument, uh, folk dance. So for that, they will share with the uh, students from South Louis Community College that do exchange program with them or local art group and also the students from the secondary school and the primary school. And, for, uh, and vice versa, they will also learn the local dance, they will also learn the local music yeah, from the art group, from the student that uh, they share experience. Wonderful. Um, thank you so much. We are speaking with uh, Ambassador Peter Chen the ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, to St. Lucia. We are due for a break, but when we come back, we will be speaking on the robust scholarship program between the Republic of China and Taiwan and St. Lucia. The Ministry of Agriculture presents a cassava and coconut festival, Sunday, August 27th, at the Mikul Playing Field, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., enhancing our food and nutrition security. Festival Coco, a cassava mwedi, a miku hika pweku, podi koko, e kori cassava iku pezami. Festival Coco. Entertainment from the best. T Blocks, Oshun, King Arthur, Umpa, 
Invader, Ezra, Levon Sealy, and lots more. Food and drinks will be on sale. Kids gonna available. And the admission is totally free. So it's a nice day for the family. Like I need a love for Coco Kuvan. So let's rebuild the cassava and coconut industry. The Cassava and Coconut Festival, Sunday, August 27th. Welcome to the program. I am your host, Rachel Leonti, and I am speaking with the Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, to St. Lucia, His Excellency. Peter Chen. Ambassador, there is a change to the program. I think earlier on you were speaking, um, you were saying that initially the format of the youth, um, International Youth Exchange Program saw various groups going to separate countries. Mm -hmm. And post-COVID, I think there was a change in the, in the makeup or the composition or the format mm -hmm. of this cultural exchange. Could you elaborate a bit on this? Uh, in the beginning, uh, we sent out several uh, groups uh, with less students to different countries at the same time and try to uh, engage more uh, of, the, uh, of the world. And I think that's also one of the uh, ma uh, major or one, one way that we expose our uh, youth to different uh, culture and different uh, country. And, but because co uh, post-COVID, uh, due to the restriction of traveling and also the concern about the spread of, uh, of COVID. So uh, last year we resumed this program, but we only arranged uh, a group of students to one country. So in that case, uh, that would uh, be more easy to uh, control uh, and also for the health issue. And this year we also uh, do that. And uh, so we are really grateful that uh, my uh, government decided to send a, a group of youth ambassador to San Lucia. And uh, that's, uh, I think, will be a, a, a high, uh, uh, a very uh, good uh, uh, point uh, for showcase uh, the good relationship between uh, Taiwan and San Lucia. I was going to say that imagine San Lucia being the country that is chosen yeah. is a reflection of the quality of the relations between your country and our country, yes. Mr. Ambassador. And I must say thank you to you and your country thank for you. that, your Ambassador. Uh, can you elaborate for us on the long-term impact you think this program will have on the bilateral relations between your country and St. Lucia? Uh, since 2007, Taiwan resumed diplomatic ties with uh, St. Lucia. We have uh, all different kinds of cooperation between the government of Republic of China, Taiwan, and the government of San Lucia in terms of infrastructure, health, agriculture, education, ICT, and all of that actually uh, is the base of the good relations and also the uh, long-term relation uh, between our two countries. But for that, uh, I think cultural exchange is also one of the uh, critical uh, components that uh, can bring uh, people from two countries together. So uh, since I arrived, uh, we work with Cultural Development Foundation and Ministry of Culture to promote uh, cultural exchange. For example, 2021, with the help of uh, the Ministry of Culture in, uh, of uh, Republic of China, Taiwan, uh, we, uh, we implement a project called uh, Taiwan Spotlight. So we, Taiwan Spotlight Project, and we bring a, a bamboo artists from Taiwan to uh, exchange uh, uh, their, uh, share their experience with local artists. And last year, we have uh, Linton artists uh, uh, organize a workshop with the local artists. And this year, we, we brought a jazz uh, artist to work with the local uh, jazz artists. And they even put on a show in the last day of uh, jazz festival. So all that is our the, uh, culture exchange we are doing. And for youth ambassador, I think one of the uh, very important uh, purpose is also cultural exchange. And I think cultural exchange have brought a very uh, deep and profound uh, impact of uh, mutual understanding of two countries. So I think that will be a long-term uh, impact. And as I say, youth is our future. So now we have our future leader uh, doing exchange programs. So 
I believe this, uh, in, uh, this will have a long-term impact. And uh, through this uh, engagement, I, I, I think uh, that will encourage uh, many young students to think in of uh, pursue their higher education in Taiwan. And, and we, uh, Taiwan also provides scholarship. So uh, we're looking forward to have more uh, prominent students going to Taiwan. And also for people who view this uh, program or who get uh, information from uh, all the media. Uh, for solution, they probably were saying, okay, I'm going to Taiwan uh, to visit all those uh, beautiful places that were introduced by the uh, uh, youth ambassador. And for Taiwanese, they probably say, oh, okay, I want to come here to, uh, to really have a test of the world leading honeymoon destination. Yeah, so I think that will have a long-term impact. Wonderful. Um, you, Ambassador, you speak about um, the cultural, uh, the cultural visits, if you, if you may, um, that Taiwan exposed our country to. You talk about the lantern artisans yeah. who came to showcase, to showcase um, um, their skill. You know, um, also during the jazz festival, mm -hmm. and so we are being exposed to to a lot of the cultural aspects, yes. you know, of, of China. And as you say, this is an important aspect um, in our relations. And um, the youth themselves are coming down and doing a similar thing. Mm -hmm. And they, in turn, will be exposed to what our youth um, yes. will be doing. So do you expect that um, the, the, your students from, from the Republic of, of China and Taiwan will be able to take back some of our own cultural norms over to the Republic of China and Taiwan. Sure, I think uh, that they will have good experience here and when they go back, they will definitely uh, share their experience to their classmates, uh, to their family, to their friends. And uh, during uh, their visit here, I think they will post a lot of uh, information on their uh, Facebook, on their uh, Instagram, on their Twitter. So uh, that I think have uh, very uh, big uh, influence to people because now people uh, catch information all those uh, from all those uh, social media and I think that will uh, uh, boost the awareness of Taiwanese about what is uh, Sanusia and how beautiful is our diplomatic alliances. Okay, now you briefly touched on um, in your previous answer, Ambassador, you briefly touched on the Taiwanese um, scholarship program. I want us to just spend a little time on this. Um, this, what it means to St. Lucians and even to local communities, mm -hmm. you know, um, it has definitely created an impact, you know, in our country. Yeah. And for that, we are eternally grateful for that. Um, what, what does it mean to you and your country to um, be sustaining that kind of um, um, partnership through the scholarship program? Because it is a robust scholarship program. It has been going on for a while. Many St. Lucians have benefited, mm -hmm. have been able to come back and, you know, just implement, you know, um, what they have learned over there. And this is one area where we see, apart mm -hmm. from agriculture and so many others, but in the area of education and this um, um, scholarship program, it has really created an impact. Just speak to us about this, what it means to, to you to, to, for this kind of program to be continuing yes. and, and its impact. Yeah, uh, capacity building is one of the, uh, one of the uh, critical uh, component of the cooperation between uh, Taiwan and St. Lucia, and we really uh, take serious about how to uh, help uh, solution to build up uh, capacity. Yeah, and uh, scholarship uh, program is one of the uh, um, important uh, part of uh, this capacity building uh, cooperation. So uh, we really uh, are trying to uh, help uh, a good uh, solution student to pursue their uh, higher education in Taiwan. But, and uh, because uh, the student, after they study in Taiwan, they have very good feedback. So it becomes a very popular program. And every year we have uh, a lot of applicants. So the, the selection of the scholarship awardee is actually uh, quite 
uh, fierce competition. Um, yeah. And since uh, I think uh, last year, when Honorable uh, Prime Minister Fiji JP visit Taiwan, Honorable uh, Education Minister uh, Sean Edwards, and also Honorable Minister uh, uh, External Affairs Minister uh, Ava Baptiste, uh, when they visit Taiwan, they send very strong uh, messages, uh, request for increased the scholarship and my government uh, responds that uh, this year. So this year we actually increased uh, 10 more scholarship for uh, St. Lucian students. So this year alone we sent 39 prominent uh, St. Lucian students to Taiwan uh, for uh, their higher education. And that uh, I, I, I believe will create a, a tremendous uh, impact uh, in uh, the no matter in the relationship, because uh, some of the students, they study in Taiwan, they make a lot of uh, Taiwanese friends, and as I say, they have very good feedback about their uh, journey of study in Taiwan, and some of them even get married in Taiwan. <laughs> so uh, that uh, will create a very good uh, and harmony relationship between, and I, among people to people, yeah, between two countries. and. Uh, after they graduate uh, from their university, a lot of them come back to uh, San Lucia, and some now working in the government, some working uh, in um, hospital, and because uh, some of them uh, are major in medical uh, service, so they, they uh, work in the hospital, and some work in the private sectors, and I think all of them will become a force of the development of San Lucia. And, I think that's the impact we want to see, and we are already seeing uh, some good outcome. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, my final question, um, Ambassador, although it is not directly in the purview, but since you spoke about capacity building, and you did mention earlier in the interview about the Youth Economy Agency, yes. I know that you were um, involved. Could you just speak to us about um, your country's um, involvement with the Youth Economy Agency, how you were able to assist in the capacity building of young people? Uh, I think uh, both Taiwan and San Lucia really uh, pay attention and value the importance of uh, youth. So uh, uh, since um, Honorable uh, Prime Minister uh, launched the uh, Youth Economy Policy, uh, Taiwan are really uh, uh, keen to uh, provide assistance. So. Uh, 2021, uh, I actually signed a letter of uh, intent with uh, Honorable Prime Minister to launch a program we call Youth and Women Economic Empowerment Program. So since then, we're already doing a lot of uh, workshop, a lot of classes, or even incubator program to help youth and uh, women. And uh, since uh, youth, youth Economy Agency established, we will work with uh, Youth uh, Economy Agency to implement uh, some uh, business uh, planning uh, classes. And, and you can see that, uh, that I think the first part we uh, train about uh, 100 uh, youth. And you can tell the difference from the opening ceremony and the graduation <laughs> ceremony. So I'm really glad and proud uh, to be part of that project. And also, uh, uh, I think 80% of the participants, they also get uh, angel fund from Taiwan. We provide, uh, although uh, not a big amount of uh, uh, resources, but I think that will also that will help them to start uh, their business. Yeah, so uh, I, I believe that is a very good uh, program to help youth and help the development of uh, the community. Yeah, and uh, we're still working with uh, Youth uh, Economy Agency, and we will implement some other project later on. Well, thank you so much, Ambassador Peter Chen, His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic of China on Taiwan to St. Lucia, speaking to us here on the youth uh, program, which will commence here from September 4th. We will be giving out more information on this. So thank you so much for the Government Information Service and Visual Yangtze. <laughs>